Anthony Castrovitz is back for another edition of Freak Out Factor. Anthony Castrovitz with us, keeping it real on his Freak Out Factor. What's your Freak Out Factor? What's your Freak Out Factor? What's the Freak Out Factor there? Give us your Freak Out Factor. What's your Freak Out Factor? Freak Out Factor. Freak Out Factor. I see we're still using that nightmare fuel of an open to uh, welcome in Anthony Castrovitz of MLB.com as we play one of our favorite games, Freak Out Factor. I give him the topic, and then he tells us where it falls on his own personal Freak Out Factor scale. Anthony, Manny Machado getting injured over the weekend in Colorado at first base, going out with a sprained left ankle. What's the Freak Out Factor on Machado and the Padres now that this injury has happened? Well, first of all, let's never hear another complaint about Manny Machado and hustle because he hustles right. on the line and uh, it point. looked really bad. So this is a strange one. I'm going to put it at 9.39 out of 10. 9.39 was Manny Machado's pace for his wins above replacement this season. Uh, a clear MVP candidate, probably between him and Paul Goldschmidt at this point. Uh, but, you know, th that injury looked really bad. Now, where it's strange is the next day he comes walking in the clubhouse like nothing happened. Uh, bruised, but not broken, basically. So uh, maybe this will be, you know, maybe the Padres will get out of the woods of this one and he'll be back uh, without even going on the injured list. So far, he has avoided that, and that's great to see. But I'm still, I'm going to keep the freak out factor very high because of what he means to that Padres lineup, uh, especially with Fernando Tatis uh, yet to swing a bat, yet to be cleared to swing a bat with his wrist injury. So uh, we'll keep the freak out factor high. It's a much different lineup without Manny Machado. 400 on base, 545 slugging percentage. Uh, changes the. I, I was just about to say the Padres are the favorites now in the NL West moving forward with everything going on with right. the Dodgers, but then you take Machado out and it changes the equation completely. Well, let's talk about those Los Angeles Dodgers. Mookie Betts is on the injured list yeah. with a cracked rib. Walker Bueller is still hurt, yeah. and he's going to be on that injured list yeah. for a while. I mentioned the offensive. They're not hitting home runs at the rate that we're used to. Freak out factor for the Dodgers. Well, I'm just going to go six out of ten there. Six is the number of times they've been held to three runs or less just in their last eight games. Uh, why isn't it higher? Because it's the Dodgers. It kind of feels silly to freak out about the Dodgers at any point. They're a juggernaut, and they, they tend to figure it out. But this is a serious you know rut that they're in right now offensively. They have a 174 average with runners in scoring position in this month of June. You mentioned Betts is out for now. We don't know how long he'll be out with that cracked rib. We know that's an injury that can certainly linger more than a couple weeks, but they're hopeful he can be back within a couple weeks. Um, and it goes beyond that. You mentioned Walker Bueller's. Yeah, that's a big hit to the rotation with him out for a couple months. They've gotten great performance from Anderson and Tony Gonsolin. Uh, but, you know, are they going to be able to keep patching that together moving forward? Uh, big issue in the ninth inning. Craig Kimbrell is just struggling to put together clean innings. He's given up at least a run in eight of his last 13 appearances. So just a lot of issues for a very good team. But, you know, the Machado dynamic is huge in that division. How the Giants play moving forward is huge in that division. Um, I, I refuse to totally freak out about the Dodgers because they're the Dodgers. All right, let's talk about the Toronto Blue Jays. Another rough outing for Jose Barrios. Kevin Gossman has had a bumpy yeah. month of June. He goes tonight. Hyunjin Ryu is done for the season. Freak out factor for the Toronto Blue Jays rotation. Yeah, I'm going to put that in 8.01 out of 10. 8.01 is their starters ERA in the last seven games. It's, it's you know, one plus turn through the rotation. It's not a huge deal, but, you know, very reliant on Kevin Gosman and Alec Manoa. Clearly, those guys have pitched like Cy Young candidates for the bulk of the season. But um, as you mentioned, lately, the rotation has had its struggles. Jose Barrios uh, roughed up last night. He's been really up or down this season. You know, he's been kind of erratic in that sense. And this is a team that you think is probably going to have to go out and, and do something bold at the trade deadline from a starting pitching perspective. Uh, they've already dealt their first round picks from the last two drafts. Um, do they do something like that again? If, if that's what it takes to get a Frankie Montas or a Luis Castillo, we shall see. Um, you know, nothing would, would, would help them more than just Gosman being what he's been for yeah. the bulk of the season, Alec Manoa being what he's been. But, you know, do they not need another uh, arm just to step forward? Uh, another big issue there is Nate Pearson, who's a big depth piece for them, who's coming back from mono and, and uh, had shoulder discomfort and was, was pulled from his uh, rehab start the other day after just two pitches. So a lot mm -hmm. of issues going on in that Toronto rotation right now. I'd like to thank all of those of you on Twitter that uh, sent me this photo of this couple in Baltimore over the weekend uh, bringing bags of pasta. Pasta in a Ziploc bag, yeah. Anthony. Where, what's your freak out factor on this? Yeah. 
I'm going to go right down the middle here, pretty much uh, 5.99. That is actually the cost of a pound of Cascatelli pasta, which I was not aware of until I saw this picture and, and did a little research. So on the one hand, this is absolutely horrifying, right? Bags of <laughs> pasta at the ballpark. Uh, now, I love the tweet from uh, Giacomo Bologna is the Baltimore Sun reporter who who did this. And uh, I mean, how can you not trust the instincts of a guy named Giacomo Bologna on one hand? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I do love that he said SpaghettiOs. That's, you know, I'm a big fan of puns. That's a great pun. Now, technically, it's inaccurate because this is pasta and not right. spaghetti. But he did lead me down this rabbit hole studying Cascatelli pasta, which is what that is. And it was created, Rogue Flow, just in recent years. It's a pretty recent creation uh, for its forkability and its sauceability uh it, it holds yeah you, yeah no i it's uh hopefully people are hearing me correctly i said yeah. forkability and sauceability it, it holds the sauce on the fork well uh i am going to be trying this out for 5.99 yeah. a pound so we'll keep the freak out factor right in the middle because you know this is maybe a little too lenient with the uh rules of letting people bring <laughs> yeah a little bit food to the ballpark but on the other hand i admire the dedication to do pasta. On a side note, Anthony, I have also been told I too have forkability. Yes. So I'm, I have no doubt, Roflo. That's yeah, one of your this great guy gets it charms and skills. Yeah. That's Anthony Castrovins of MLB.com. Great stuff as always, man. We'll talk to you soon. All right, man.